Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6. We're going to be talking about some new spoilers, some new leaks from Canada Graphs. So, all rights go to Canada Graphs. I'm going to be including quite a lot of photos we're going to be talking about. But also, please be sure to check out his blog, be in the link in the description below, so you can check that out because there's plenty more photos and there's other paragraphs that I won't go over in this video. But I'm a few days behind on all this news behind on the Superman news, behind on some of the Supergirl leaks, so that's all going to be coming up in the next day or so, maybe, you know, a double upload, maybe tomorrow, or maybe today, I don't know, I haven't decided about that, but I really want to get back into the swing of things, because, you know, DCTV starts, Supergirl comes back in six days from now, and The Flash comes back in eight, and I hope to catch up on Arrow before Arrow comes out. So I'm going to be really busy, so please be sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. Share the channel around as we try and hit 100,000 subscribers. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so we're going to talk about the leaks from Canada Graphs. We're going to talk about the photos at first, and then we'll go over some of the descriptions that was obviously posted on this blog. So recently we've had some peculiar photos because as you know Bloodwork is the villain for the first part of the season but he's been with Barry and he's been with the Flash and he's been standing right next to him right? So there is or there was a lot of confusion as to why that was happening because you know it's very out of character like you wouldn't expect Barry to walk around with a villain knowing he's a villain because he knows he's a villain by, by now because this is the mid-season finale we're talking about and they are going full on blood work for this episode for the finale you know when they finally defeat him I'm not sure you know the dynamic what it's going to end up like but it's definitely going to be heavy comic book accurate like with the blood work stuff that I'm going to talk about in just a minute so we got a lot of exciting photos to go over so the first photo and there's a range more photos you know kind of similar to this but the first one is Grant and Sandil actually standing next to each other, so that's blood work and the Flash. And he's in his Flash suit and he's just in his normal clothes and so they're standing together and they're looking at something, but we don't know what it is, right? And then we move on to the next photo, and these are just the ones I picked out by the way, like I said, plenty more on there. But you see him and he's got makeup on and he's got veins popping all up his face, and this is when he's being taken over by his blood work persona or he's transforming into what we'll talk about in just a minute but the veins show the sort of control of the blood and there's actually veins on some other people and then if we go on to the next photo you can see some changes to the flash suit right here Grant has got some black shit in his mouth he's smiling he's smirking he has been taken control of him I'm wondering if this is to do with the negative speed force because that comic book storyline with Bloodwork was actually intertwined somewhat with the negative speed force, or it could be just Bloodwork taking him over, but you can see his suit has changed, and with this new change, what they've done is they've sort of fucked up the ears a bit, like he's not as bright, it's a bit, you know, tarred and black, and obviously like I said, he's got the smile, he's got the weird black stuff in his mouth, and on his chest piece, it's all blacked out, there's like, sort of you know, messy bits that, you know, hide away the white. And same thing for his belt and also the stripes on his arms. It's all essentially dirtied up and muddied up. And so this represents him being taken over either by the negative sweep force or by blood work taking control of him. But then we move on to the next photo and this next photo is so exciting to me. So we see this right here. You're like, what the fuck is this? But if you've read the comic books, you know what you know, blood work turns into different things and he eventually turns into this thing that is sort of like a monster. Well, it looks like a monster, so I'll have a side-by-side -side on the screen right now, but like, yeah, they're going full-on comic book accurate. Barry is fighting blood work, this CGI monster, the different version of himself, and the reason why we sort of know that it's that version is the way they put the suit together is so, so similar in the sort of style and how big he is and, you know, the sort of more tentacly arms that you can see. But yeah, so a massive CGI suit. Barry's going to be fighting this version of Bloodwork and this is either shot on the same night or the night after, so it's part of the same scene as 
when we talked about um, Barry and Bloodwork actually being in the same place together and Bloodwork's taken over and I think he turns into this and he sort of, you know, mutates into this sort of weird fucking creature from the comics and I think it's absolutely brilliant that they are going full on comic book accurate for this because that is the version that I wanted to see because that's the version that I think is so cool like it is absolutely amazing the way it looks and I think it's going to look really good hopefully the CGI holds up for this bit okay so we've got another photo here of Grant as the Flash and he's on the street and I have to say his suit looks really cool in this lighting and yeah so this is either just after or just before that scene but he's in the exact same place and so yeah it's just a nice look at him then we move on we've got the sort of scuffed up suit again but this is a better shot because you get to see his full on smile and that he has been taken over or he's evil or anything like that and I I just think it's super exciting like when I saw this I was like fuck yeah this is so cool like this is gonna look really good and I'm really looking forward to it when we actually finally get to this episode when the flash returns okay so that is about it for the photos as of right now and so you can check out the rest of the photos that are on the blog post and that's in the description below okay so we're going to talk about some of the blogging he did so the writing as to what was going on when they were filming so this is how it goes the flash was on location for the eighth episode of the season on wednesday in vancouver on thursday and friday nights into friday and saturday mornings in downtown vancouver the first of those nights the uh, cast and crew of the flash found themselves at a stadium and this is the exterior shots for star labs so maybe they're shooting for star labs some exterior shots for the episode and then after all of that what was shot was Grant Gustin as The Flash and Sendil Rama Murphy as Dr. Ramsey Russo, aka Bloodwork, were out there filming a scene where the pair were walking together towards Star Labs. So, from this, you can infer, yeah, they are pretty much like friends, unless Barry's getting manipulated still at this point, and then there is the big turn. But they're going to Star Labs, so you know, we can expect Dr. Ramsey Russo to be around Star Labs this season before the end of the mid season. And so the pair did not seem to be in any type of conflict with each other and it wasn't till after the fact when I was home and could see what I shot on a larger screen I noticed the details on Barry's suit which you can see a bit better in the photos and he has black marks on his logo so from that you can infer yeah they have he has been manipulated at this point so what is happening to Barry is blood work doing it I think the answer is yeah okay so then on Thursday night, the Flash moved their unit up a couple of miles across downtown Vancouver to a block and they were filming on this block and the main scene of the evening had an unknown actor in the Flash suit taking the place of Grant Gustin who was off working on crossover duty with several others on a different show. And so the Flash stand-in did a scene with Sendil in full bloodwork makeup, Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon, and later in the evening a scene was done by Daniel Panabaker in full Killer Frost attire. Each of the cast members had their doubles on set too, but they rarely saw them actually working apart from Grants, and a few times for Cisco. So the night was very quick, and it was quite dark pretty much straight away, and there were some night photos that were shot and the flash photos look better in those that's what Canada Graph says and so you can see the blood work dark vein all over his logo and gold trimmings and so in the scene with the three of them Cisco comes in with a gun and yells at blood work using the character's name and then shoots the gun at the villain causing him to fall to the ground the flash then zips over grabs Cisco pulls him over to blood work the trio would then crouch down too low to actually see what was going on and so after lunch Danielle did a scene that I think she was the only cast member for says Canada Grass all I can tell you is that there was a lot of extras running and she seems to be running in the middle of them until she vanished out of his sight okay so on night three the cast seemed to be back in and we had Grant and Senzil for the entire night. A woman worked with Senzil later. The evening started off slow and we had a scene of the Flash zipping in front of a green screen which was done and then a long break happened and so then we move on and so 
there was a man that Canada Graphs referred to as Tall Abraham Lincoln out there standing on stilts. Well, I never specifically knew what he was a stand-in for. It's a fair assumption uh, to do that this is a stand-in for blood work when he is in full blood work mode. The thing I noticed during the scene they shot with the Tall Abe was the Flash no longer has black marks all over his suit. Did the Flash finally break free of Bloodworks control over him or is this a scene from before it happens? And so the scene seemed to have the Flash using his speed to punch the tall guy over. A bit later they did a scene where it seems that the villain gets an upper hand, Bloodwork, whoever the stand-in is, and the Flash is thrown into a vehicle and the impact instantly crushes the vehicle and then Grant came back in to be the Flash seemingly being held by some sort of force against the vehicle having trouble to moving away from the vehicle and so after Grant wrapped that scene they did a scene with Sendil and a mystery woman as I stated earlier the scene had Ramsey in the middle of the street clothes torn looking angry making a motion like he's about to hit someone when he stops to look at someone behind him he turns around has a conversation with this woman and she moves towards him and gently puts her hand on his face and they're sharing a couple's moment. So in the scene, there are no dark veins on Ramsey and it seems he's calmed down. Is this woman how the Flash and Team Flash end up defeating Bloodwork? Not sure. But anyway, so right now that is all that they got. It's a lot of exciting stuff and a lot of stuff to start theorizing about, especially because this is the mid-season finale and how it ends and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see